incredibly inspiring for me in regards to this song is 1 Corinthians chapter 2 um, verse 9 it says no eye has seen no ear has heard no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him and um, I guess I was just inspired to write this song because of the fact that I realize um, there's far more there's far more to life than what the world assumes, you know? Being a Christian is an incredibly high standard to live up to, and it's 
a thrilling and exciting one. But there's also far more to being a Christian than simply living out the rules and, and showing up at church once in a while and, and being a good girl or a good boy, you know, or being a Christian artist or whatever. Um, there's more. There's far more. And all of that is offered to us through Jesus, through a personal, incredibly wonderful and miraculous relationship with Jesus. Well, I wanted to give you an opportunity to get to know the guys in my band. Um, they're not here right now, so I can't exactly introduce them to you, but we did spend a lot of time in the studio together, and uh, they actually were a great help in uh, redoing I Now Live and Shine Jesus Shine, as well as sort of helping to create the sound for um, the three new songs that we did. I've been playing with them for about two years. Um, we've done a lot of traveling together, and they've just become some of my best friends, and I'm really proud of who they are and, and, and what they do creatively. Um, Frank, he's the drummer, Frank Lenz. He um, has actually been around the Christian music scene quite a long time, as well as Jairo Chan, who did all the programming on Fearless. Um, they both were involved in a band called Fold Zandura. Uh, Jairo, you may or may not know from Mortal, um, guys that have been around the Christian music scene a really long time and played festivals like Cornerstone and Ichthus and places like that for years and years and years and um, they have such a unique sound together as well as individually and just incredibly talented and I'm really lucky to get to work with them on a regular basis. Um, Eli Thompson plays bass, grew up in Southern California. Uh, I actually met him when he was a teenager and um, met him in a, from a youth group at a church that I've done some singing at over the years and kind of funny that here we are years later and uh, he's in my band so uh, kind of fun but an, another incredibly creative um, person and um, I've learned so much from these guys in terms of uh, they're always giving me new music to listen to and always kind of telling me what's cool I guess um, Sean Tubbs you may remember from I think every record since Remember. Uh, Sean, in my opinion, is one of the greatest guitar players out there. He's incredibly, again, creative and um, just a really unique sense of um, style when it comes to playing. And uh, I think every guitar player in the Christian industry pretty much knows who he is and he's a um, just ridiculous player. And the greatest thing to me is that I've been able to know him and play with him uh, for over 10 years and, and the fact that he's still in my band, that we're still playing together. Um, he's grown incredibly as a player and um, again, just very proud to uh, get to work with people like that. Uh, another one of the songs, the new songs on More is called I Guess and basically it's a song about marriage and for any of you out there that have ever attempted to work with your spouse, you know that it's not the easiest thing in the world. Um, <laughs> Brian and I have worked together actually since a little before we were married. We've been married 12 and a half years and he started working with me and really encouraging me to write and um, <clears throat> encouraging me to speak my mind and studio and in the recording process and writing process of things years ago when we first started dating, um, which is when I did my first solo record, I was 16, 17, something like that. So uh, we worked together for a long time and we kind of know the ins and outs of uh, arguing and uh, compromise and getting your way and things like that. It's not an easy thing to be in a studio and have someone tell you what to do, period. Uh, but when it's your husband or your wife, it gets a little bit awkward and difficult sometimes. And uh, there's definitely, I think, especially in the ministry, uh, a real severe attack on marriages. I mean, and just on marriages, period, in general, that's one of the enemy's biggest targets, I think, in our culture is family and marriage, um, without a doubt. And I think especially Christian marriages and even more so marriages that are in the ministry because um, 
we have the potential to be a really great example to people. And if he can get in and destroy that, wreck that, um, make a mockery of it, that's what he seeks to do. And so for us to have been able to work together this song is really quite a miracle. And then this song, I guess, uh, we wrote together about, it sounds a little uh, unsure, maybe, you know, the term I guess, but truly what we really mean by it is um, just coming back to the idea that, you know what, I guess we're just supposed to be together. I guess as green as the grass seems on the other side, and as easy, it seems so much easier sometimes to uh, do things differently. Let's you know, not work together, or let's hire someone else to do this or that, or um, it's, it's just not. And uh, you realize, like it says in the song, the grass I thought was greener is right here. My grass is uh, the most beautiful and the most desirable, and, and it's what I want to look at every day. And it's hard. Marriage is hard. It's a difficult thing, period, across the board in every circumstance. But um, it's also sacred and beautiful and incredibly miraculous. And then when you can make it work, it, there's nothing, nothing quite like it. And so I'm very, very proud that um, that we do work together and continue to be creative and. and um, well, stay married, frankly. <laughs> for this record. Uh, for more, we decided we would head out to Palm Springs and film all those hundreds of thousands of windmills and um, just be out kind of in the middle of nowhere, not really realizing that it was going to be about 110, 108 that day. And uh, my husband Brian was the photographer on the shoot. Um, I did hair and makeup. Uh, we. <laughs> I changed in the car and I did all my makeup and hair in the car and uh, we would just leave the car running with the air conditioner going full blast and jump out and do a bunch of shots and jump back in and drive to the next location and we just sort of spent the day like that. Three new songs that we did on more. First, Like a Child, it was written by Chris Lazat, who of course is my brother-in-law. And uh, as you may or may not know, he also wrote Gold on healing oil on Beauty for Ashes, and we also co-wrote a song together um, on Fearless. So uh, someone who I've known for a really long time and who I really respect as a writer and as an artist, this song, Like a Child, really spoke to me and grabbed my attention because of the fact that uh, I have children and I watch them every day and I see them respond to my hurried lifestyle. You know, today it seems that everyone is so busy, uh, so much to do, so many things going on. Uh, even if you're not working, it seems that you're always doing something, you know, always off to somewhere, or, you know, well, I don't have time for that, I don't have time for this, and I feel that way too often. Uh, and too often I feel like, well, I just don't have time to have a quiet time, you know, to get alone with the Lord, to um, sacrifice TV time or magazine time or shopping time or sleep time for simply time alone with God in prayer and, and reading His Word and just listening to Him to what He wants to say to me through His Word. And uh, that song really spoke to me because it says, I want to see your face. I want to feel your embrace. I just want to lay here like a child. And when I watch my kids and you know, unless I'm saying, come on you guys, hurry up, we gotta go. They have absolutely no concept of hurry. They have no concept of time, of um, being late, of being busy, and I love to watch them relax. And now I understand when Jesus says, if you wanna come to me, you need to be like a little child. And I think, oh, 
part of that is not being so concerned with time, not being so overwhelmed with busyness and overwhelmed with the things you got to accomplish and the things you need to cross off your list. And because that's me, I'm a list person and I love to cross things off of it. Think about that one. Hmm. I'm taking a break now.
seems to surround you when suffering hangs heavy on your head. Know that tomorrow brings wholeness and healing. God knows your need, just believe what you say. He gives beauty for action. For morning, peace for despair. He gives beauty for ashes, strength for fear. Gladness for morning, peace for despair. When what you've done keeps you from moving, when fear wants to make itself at home. Forgiveness brings wholeness and healing. God knows your needs. Just believe what is said. He gives beauty for ashes, strength for fear, gladness for mourning, peace for despair. He gives beauty. Was lost, but God is found. I, so I was bound up in sin. I'm free as Been I made righteous in His sight. A display of His splendor, all can see. I once was lost, but God has found me. So I was bound up in sin. Free. I've been made a righteous in His sight. A display of His splendor, all can see. He gives me beautiful ashes. Strength for fear, gladness for morning, peace for despair. He gives beauty for ashes. Strength for fear, gladness for morning, peace for despair. He gives beauty for ashes. Strength for fear, gladness for morning.
us who we are When I learned to love you deeper the greater 